food. As always, let's give it a go. Yeah, let's give it a go. Come on, Gary. Oh. Hello. Welcome to another video. All right, this is not the video I wanted to make. But this could be the most important video I've ever made, ironically. So I set out to ferment four apple juices. I wanted to ferment this one with grapes. I wanted to ferment this one with bread. I wanted to ferment this one with raisins. And I wanted to ferment this one with Marmite. All suggestions from viewers and I've tried it and as you can see they didn't work. Now this is going to be down to cleanliness. I for the life of me cannot remember washing my hands before handling these ingredients. It's such a Silly mistake, but such an easy mistake. Now, let's bring you up closer. Okay, so this is the first one. Now, as you can see, it's frothing. So somebody's not sure what could happen. It could possibly, they think it's happening, but then you've got this classic looking mold. Now, this one is the bread. Look at all them eyeballs. Look at all them eyeballs looking. Guys, I can't believe this has happened to all three. I, I haven't had it happen once. And then this has happened three times. This is raisins. I've even done raisins in the past. Oh, look at that. You've got these floating eyeballs. The Marmite hasn't gotten contaminated. Let me put you back. The Marmite didn't get contaminated. Now... The only difference that happened in me doing these was I put my hands on the grapes, I put my hands on the bread, and I put my hands on the raisins. Now I used a spoon to put the Marmite in this one. I'm pretty much convinced it, 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 it was bacteria on my hand and I've introduced it. I, I, I can't think of really any other way why it would, you know, I got dogs, I, I play with my dogs all the time, on the floor, and you know, and I, th I think I forgot to wash my hands. So, if, if you've never done it before, how would you know? And I know a lot, a lot of people are, are gonna be like, well, yeah, obviously I wouldn't drink that. But guys, let, this is just to make sure, you know, this, this is what, See, now, there's no real, let me bring you. Guys, if you've never done it before and you see all of this junk on, on, on the bottle, you're gonna get worried. But then, that's not too dissimilar to that. Let's be honest, if, you, if you've never done it before, then how would you know? So this is why I'm showing, this is normal. It bubbles up, it sticks to the edge, and it becomes all sort of mucky looking. Now, this is, but these bubbles, I don't know if it's actually fermenting underneath the uh, mold which has got gained on top, but it's a much more white bubble. I, I, I'm not sure. You know. Let me put you back. So basically, guys, just, just a really quick video to show you what infection looks like in, in a brew and what it normally looks like. Now, side note, guys, I found this in my cupboard. I made a kvass gira drink and the ingredients was rye bread. Now, I'm only mentioning this because it's kind of on the same topic. Guys, I did that video more than two months ago. More than two months. Look at this bread. It's soft. Smells like rye bread. Guys, two months, over two months old. If someone give me that in a, in a restaurant, I'd eat it. 
so look how fast mold can come and like look how fast mold can come you know there's, there's no rhyme or reason to it but guys keep clean you've got to keep yourselves clean well obviously keep yourselves clean but you know keep the keep keep everything clean just clean you know um guys i've got my bread yeast my bread yeast is going to be breaking rules and i'm confident convinced certain i'm breaking bread yeast rules but that video won't be out for probably another week yet something to look forward to anyway guys thanks for watching uh nice quick video <laughs> for once and um i'll see you on the next thank you very much